All right, remember for tomorrow, your first test. This is a test to see how, you, how well you can explain these things, your fluency, how well you can talk about them, okay? There's no, not gonna be any multiple choice on this test, okay? There will be fewer than 10 questions and you will have prompts and topics to talk about from everything that we've done in the last four weeks. So remember week one, we talked about the importance of the international system of measurements. We went out, we did those labs where you couldn't compare your results and then we used the base units from the SI system, meters, kilograms, uh, uh, all of those things, and then we could compare. So remember, be able to talk to me about why it's important that scientists all over the world have this common system of measurements. The second week, we recorded both qualitative and quantitative data, you making observations in the out there. <clears throat> so be able to talk to me about what's different about these two ways of recording data and making observations. And then also be able to talk to me about um, why it's easier with quantitative data especially to compare uh, the, those observations. The, the the last two weeks or so we've been talking about the scientific method and in here especially we've been talking about and doing it acting it out and actually making products and doing things so in here we saw that it was a pinball method okay we've gone back and forth back and forth it wasn't just step one step two step three you're done we've seen how it can go back and forth and sometimes you have to start over start all over uh, setting up controlled experiments uh, I have one video that you can use but then also just remember we talked about like blues light today um, you can only test one variable at a time and that's called your independent variable the dependent variable is what you would measure after you're done with the experiment and then everything else has to stay the same or constant it has to be your control that way you know that what caused the change was your independent variable so you're only allowed to test one of those at a time the last thing is be able to talk to me about using a microscope setting up your slide and then focusing it okay you will not have a blank microscope and have to label the parts you will have to talk to me about using the microscope okay so use your now and later quizzes from the first two weeks use your the notes you've taken from the videos and use what you have in your logbook okay and be able to talk to me about it tomorrow I'll be able to show me that you're fluent in all of this stuff